So kids uh, are accessing social media at different ages. I think the policies state online, for example, Facebook states you have to be over the age of 13. Other platforms state that you must be over the age of 18. They don't check. They don't correlate. As a parent, I would say you should be an adult. I'd go with Steve Jobs. I'd say wait till the person is in young adolescent stage or young adulthood, you know, 11 and 12, maybe even after high school. I'd go with Steve Jobs. He must know. If that's what he was advocating for his children and uh, others in Silicon Valley who send their children to the Waldorf school and other lucrative schools where there's no tech, no tech at school, I'd go with them. No tech. But do I have a choice at the moment as a parent in the school where my children attend? No. They'll be introducing iPads to every year seven student next year. I have a choice to leave that school but I'll just go to another state high school that is providing much the same. So we've got to wake up. We've got to say there has to be a change. If we keep going like this, we're all going to be like cyborgs, like zombies. I'd call it a zombie apocalypse, where as one figure and picture I saw depicted on the internet had a young person holding a mobile phone, looking down with blood coming, streaking out of their face. That's the zombie apocalypse. I'm a drone. I don't know what's going on. Next, send, hit. I don't know how to spell the word giant. What? What's a thesaurus? And I hate to tell you, but these are the kids that are coming to university. And so universities are not changing their entry scores, but they're sure having to change how they accommodate for what's going on. And you get a piece of work to mark at home, and you go, surely somebody in fourth year couldn't have written this, surely, because they've been taught to copy and paste. They've not been taught to write a sentence. They've not been taught what a verb is. And this is not having a go at our primary schools. Teachers are struggling just as much as anyone else. But when you get to the university stage and we're still having these fundamental issues of grammar, that our kids are illiterate even though they're swimming in IT, what the heck is going on? So we're either going to face the fact that IT does not increase literacy, does not better our children's education, and we've got to go back to fundamentals, or we're going to sleepwalk into a future that's zombified, and no one's looking up. And in Japan, they're really worried because the birth rate's low. It's almost non-existent. People are not having children. Who's going to look after the aged people? Because the young people are too busy doing their social media and their emails and their internet rabbit hole explorations and their online affairs. Who's going to look after the aged? Who's going to become the next medical doctor? Who's going to want to care about IT systems that actually don't have negative social implications? And I believe the IT devices we are building today have inherent qualities. It is not a choice. It reminds me of the song by Bruce Springfield, who had a song titled 52 Channels and There's Nothing On. And we're propagating that. We're propagating that through our reality TV shows. We're propagating that through our Foxtel and, and, and Optus Vision and whatever else, Starnet or whatever else you want to call it. And there's nothing on. You want to veg out sometimes of an evening. And there's nothing on, so you, you turn it off and, and, and you... As we were speaking earlier, you go back to podcasts, <laughs> what they had in the 40s on radio.